the damage is just everywhere in Lake Charles. Homes, businesses, uh, schools. This was an auto zone, and look what happened here. I'm always fascinated by what the storms do. The roof of that auto zone winds up in the backyard uh, of the next door neighbor there. Uh, just tremendous power. 150 mile an hour winds came ashore in the town of Cameron, uh, Louisiana, just on the Gulf Shore, uh, and then marched a path right up here, another business right across the street, that's a health club I think over there, and marched all the way up here to Lake Charles, still packing, uh, basically Cat 4 winds, uh, and as I said, everything is damaged in some way almost in this town. Uh, I leave you with the, perhaps the uh, residential uh, neighborhood, all of the, uh, the homes there with some sort of roof damage or some other damage, trees are down, snapped off, you can imagine the power of a Cat 4 storm with 150 mile an hour winds, not pretty. This is Jeff Block with the Fox Business Network in Lake Charles, Louisiana. August 27, 2020, a Category 4 hurricane known as Laura sweeps through the city of Lake Charles causing catastrophic damages to the city with a population of 78,000 people leaving nothing but destruction. Located three hours from New Orleans, the population would have to live a new life as they was brought to New Orleans. This is the story of Lake Charles, the aftermath. Yeah, uh, you know, Rita, Rita, Rita comes through and we had a lot of water, you know. Uh, with Laura, Laura, it was a lot of wind, a lot of tornadoes. Uh, I mean, it ripped shit up. I mean, they got main power lines down there, you know, our main supply of power lines and supply of power is just driving down 27. You know, you can see on both sides, it's six towers. At least in the main towers, you know what I'm saying? Six towers, it's a bomb. You know, and it, that didn't happen to Rita, you know what I'm saying? Um, it, it was just, there's a lot of damage. Um, it'd probably be a month before we get back down there. The, the thing of it is, is where they got us put up at, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, they feed us, don't get me wrong, but they're feeding us the same breakfast every day. Now, I'm a little upset with that. Um, say, I got better breakfast than hell. And that's a fact. I got better purposes than sitting in jail. And, uh, but it's the same meal every day for breakfast. You know? The lunches and dinner, you know, they, they vary. They're good sometimes. They're good not. You know, it's, it, we really can't complain because we are eating, you know. So we can't complain about that. But I just said what she was a little better. You know? um, how long it's going to take for us to get back home? Who knows? So they talk about a month before we can go back home. And being stuck in a motel room all by your damn self, you know, for a month, you know, it is hard, especially with no money. Oh, so they, so they didn't provide y'all no money? Not yet. It's going to be months down the road before we get any money. Uh, Red Cross ain't handing out money. Uh, FEMA ain't handing out money right now. They got to assess the damages. Well, if, if, they, if they do a flyover, they can assess the damages right there. That is, it, it's demolished down there, you know? And uh, it's, uh, camping trailer's gone. The house is fucking demolished. I mean, demolished, you know? Towers like that, you know, they got hurricane proof windows shit, not on tower down in Lake Charles. At least 60 to 100 windows probably busted out of that thing, you know? Um, tornadoes are really bad down there. And help, the help they're giving us, I, know, I just think it, I just wish it was a little faster, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, that's um, yeah, just the, the, the response on the, the help is what it is. And I understand where it's coming from. You know, they, they help us the best, the best they can, you know what I'm saying? Just how long is the thing, you know, we gotta ride it out, I guess. You know, and Katrina was bad in New Orleans. Katrina was in New Orleans, you know. Dad, they went through the same shit here. You know? But it was water that got them. Not, not, not the hurricane wind, you know, sort of. That was a hurricane five, I believe. Yeah. When it come through. Y'all, y'all was a four, category four, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's even worse though, too, you know? Yeah.
Yeah, I mean, it, it, with Rita, I was, I was there for Rita. I didn't ride it out, but I come back the next day. Uh, Laura, I rode it out with Laura, and I wish she would. Uh, Laura blew a whole the door. I was living, in a, I was staying in a shotgun house. Blew a whole, blew the whole door, broke the jam and everything. Blew the whole door in. Took four men to pick the door back up, put it back up against the window, and take some screw guns, screw the damn door back. You know. Just so we keep the wind, cause it, the wind was blowing so bad in the room. But it wasn't. It, like I said, it didn't have no water. It didn't have no rain. It, it, it was a fast moving storm. It would get fast, but the, the winds and the tornadoes that they must have had thousands of tornadoes in that thing. Wow. It was, it, it was it was bad. And like I said, I wrote this one out. And I, I wish it wouldn't have. I mean, because by looking at some houses that were completely, completely demolished, I mean completely demolished to the floor. They couldn't get me in that one, you know. I wish we would have evacuated when we didn't really notice it, you know. Coming to New Orleans, the nightlife is so different. You have just everything going on. Crowds of people on Bourbon Street, on Canal Street. People falling out, homelessness. It seems so different from where you're coming from. It's mainly like being in another world. Like you were alien to the city. You might be from Louisiana, but you're alien. So how is the Lake Charles people gonna adjust to this tourist attraction? They got the building the trans is sitting on top on where our so, so many right. miles we got letters on our house. Right. All, all the trans fall off. Okay. It's told yeah, out there. It's, it's, it's amazed. So it's you know, even though they got lights, you can see they might go back out right. until they move to our trans house. Miles so the hell can't pick my car. It's surrounded by water. Right. It's a totally, it's totally, it's totally disaster. I ain't never seen that out of the whole time I have lived in Lake Charles this year. Right now it don't even look like home. You can see, you couldn't even see the other buildings deep over there because the way it was. Right now you go through that now, it's, you, you can see everything, everything. Not, everything is just totally destroyed. Everything. My truck lost all that, tore all that. Thing. But now, but I don't know if it's the act of God, but right now, we all need help in that little town. That, I stayed there so many years, growing up in there. I ain't never seen, we, had, we went through a lot of hurricanes, but not like this. And right now, it's no life, water on, gas on, but it's no life. They saying the, the, the power coming from Texas, they, they will put the lights on, but they're not guaranteed it's going to stay on. But all of us, we here, and right now, all we're doing is spending money. No job, nobody, nothing. I'm, I'm talking about... Is, is this terrible? I ain't never seen nothing like that in all my life since I, I, I lived out of born there. Look, and it's, it's really messed look, up. Look, look at this. Mm. I got two machines in my You gotta have air. I gotta have air year round. This is what you me a lot. I'm on a set income. Nobody give me financial assistance. The food is cold and they feed me down all it is, they're making money. It's about money. That's all. That's all I can say about it. Prices down here. 
money. It's about money. And I'm on a fixed income. My wife on a fixed income. She lost everything. I don't mind spending money, but I'm so as things so high, the food they feeding us is not worth. It. I appreciate it, but everything is cold. But time to get it done. So me and my wife, since we've been here, we spent over eleven hundred dollars just eating. No, I don't mind spending money, but I need to put something back. I need to work. Spending money and be broke, and ain't nothing coming back in. That's 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 not that's uncalled. But it's but it's all right. I, I thank God that we live. We still alive. But the situation that we're in right now, all we getting is what they giving us. And I appreciate the, 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 the living uh, uh, circumstances. We don't pay no money, but it's, it's, it's beyond that. It's beyond that. Thank you. Nothing. When we go back with lights in on and the lights all on, what we gonna live? We ain't got nothing. We don't get everything pinned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We are all home. Bye bye. But it's all right. As long as this is a God, I know we're going to get there. But they ain't going to let his people go down. That's just a lesson that we learn. See? That's just a lesson. And for us, for us, for us, for us uh, uh, I already know what it's all fall down. It's fall down to politics. All these things that's happening now, the diseases and, 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 and this the virus. Now, now winter coming up, you're going to have flu season. All this stuff here, nobody doing nothing. And see, I thank God that I don't have that virus. But they got out here now. Me and my wife. She's 60, I am 64. And and, and we live in paychecks after pay. She get paid on the 3rd and I get paid on the 3rd. And after all this gone, I came down here. Now this is what we spent because of the the, the living uh, facility when they get it, that's fine. But the food is cold when you get it. So my wife, we don't eat cold food. We have to go to these high prices out here. I don't mind spending. Y'all need to give us a good, decent, hot meal. And it just, it just hurts. We started spending, but nothing coming back in. I, I, I just thank God we live. That's all I'm saying. When we get back to our civilization, where we come from, we still homeless. Where, where, where the money gonna come at? And we on fixed income. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say about that. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Weak visuals. Was able to set up an interview with the Red Cross to see what was going on. This was the Red Cross's response to the situation with the Lake Charles evacuees. Mike, my, 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 I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna take that back. Refugees. This was their response. Hello, I'm Ed. I'm with the Red Cross. Really what we're doing now is you see all the hotels, we're using that for evacuees right now. Currently we've got about 11,000 evacuees in the city. About to bring another 7,000 in. Uh, right now we just do a shelter feeding, trying to hook up these uh, St. Charles, all those affected from this. Uh, really, you know, spirits are up. Everybody stay positive. So how, how long do you think they're going to be uh, in New Orleans? Evacuated for a while. Uh, we still can't get, you know, no power still, you know, in the areas. Uh, it's going to be a long process. That's okay. why we just want everybody to be patient, stay positive. Most of all, respect your surroundings, man. You know, this is a nice area. That's all we want. Just respect the area, you know, stay positive and enjoy it.
So, uh, you saying, uh, so they can be here for a year or so on? Well, what the, what the way they're going to do it is, once the electricity starts getting back up in the Marriott, well, hopefully we can get those in that area back to at least a little bit closer. We got family staying right here in New Orleans, and they still got to drive back to work. So oh. We're looking at a two, three hour drive for some. Oh, wow. They got to come back here. So, you know, that's what we're looking at now. Try, how do we, can we get families back into their area so they can get back to their lives, you know? That's a long drive. Yes, that's a long drive. Okay, thank you, though. Appreciate it, man. All right. Hurricanes are measured on the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, which runs from Category 1 up to Category 5. According to the Weather Channel, the scale was developed in the 1970s by Miami engineer Herbert Saffir and Robert Simpson, a meteorologist who was director of the National Hurricane Center. Cruzy, you heard me? Representing the Chuck, you heard me? I got all my refugees. We out here, my nigga, you heard me? You know what I'm saying? Bunch of niggas that ain't never had shit right now. For sure, we ain't got shit. So we trying to get rich right now, you heard me? We fucking all, you know what I'm saying? Waiting on FEMA, waiting on, you know what I'm saying? Red Cross, whatever, give us a little change. But until then, right now we on Canal getting it in. You heard me? You know what I'm talking about? We real street trappers, we do what we do. So we uh so what's going on though with uh, the situation, man? Man, we ain't got shit no more. The bitch look like Jumanji, you heard me? <laughs> we ain't got man, shit on no We're in the end of the story. You know what I'm talking about? We ain't got no lights, no water, no gas stations, no shit out there, you heard me? We ain't got shit. We still making a little drip. 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 GBE, all that. GCC, shit, yeah. We repping though, but we, we ain't got shit, bro. Hurricane Lord, you know, that was the biggest hurricane ever here in Louisiana ever. You know what I'm talking about? That big disaster tore us up. We out of there right now. You know what I'm talking about? We trying to rebuild, you know what I'm talking about? We ready to rebuild. Once the refugees. Y'all got anything for us, man? Hit up Money Machine, Scoogey, Instagram, you know what I'm talking about? I'll let your boy, and I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Donate whatever you want to shop. Money Machine, Scoogey, on, on uh, Cash Out. Hit us up, baby. Thank y'all, man. So, uh, so what the fuck up with the Red Cross? They ain't looking out? They ain't looked out yet, man. I'm waiting. They denied a few people, you know what I'm talking about? They denied my mama. But you know, I know they, we gonna have to appeal that, try to get a little something, you know what I'm talking about? Cause I lost a lot. I ain't got shit. Nothing. This shit right here, I've been wanting this shit four days. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> I've been grinding seven days in them same clothes trying to chase the end of that rainbow right now. You know what I'm talking about? Trying to see if I see a pot of gold, bro, real talk. FEMA come that shit crazy as hell. So FEMA and Red Cross, they like, fuck these, uh, these are back of weeds, huh? Right now, man, they gave us some rooms and shit. You know what I'm saying? But well, they ain't gave no money to us, man, to separate and and help us what we know we're going to do after this. What we going to do after the 13th? Y'all tell us, FEMA, if y'all going to come through for us, or, or, you know what I'm talking about, help us out. Because after the 13th, man, what y'all going to do, bro? So hold up, they said only to the 13th. Right now we're still to the 13th. I don't know what's gonna do after that, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they on some hoe ass shit, low key. Low key? Yeah. They on some hoe ass shit. That's crazy. And they, and they know we need more time, bro. I know they need more time to build their child because they feel like your money. And the plant blew up after that. So the chemical in the waterland all fucked up. I can't go back there, man, feed my kids or give my kids none of that water. Make them take no bath in that chemical water right now. You know? That's crazy as hell, man. Let you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna thug it out. Neighborhood dope, man. What you want? I got it. 
I'm straight out for y'all, you know. Look, Lake Chalk, that's another home. Yeah, yeah that's that's the second home right oh, now. Oh yeah, I'm Bankstown yeah. Coffin Street like know. a throwback. I grew up in Bankstown yeah. all day in Baton Rouge. Oh no, I'm done. However you want it, yeah, man. Yeah, play with me and I'm gonna yeah. I grew up in Baton Rouge yeah. now and I'm getting to it. That's my second home. Yeah. That's my second home. Yeah. My second home. Yeah. I go in that bitch and sleep like a baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 like man, Lake. Yeah. 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 Yeah.